Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you the updated version of the Cricut Easy Press Reference Guide. So I figured I would show you using the two different heat settings. So what you're going to do now you can see that they have where you can click on Easy Press 2 or the first Easy Press. How amazing is that? So you just click one or the other. We're going to click the Easy Press 2. Then for your materials, you're going to see there is so much more. So they have added tons of different products. So now you can see the meshes on there, the infusible ink pens, and the transfer sheets are now there. We're going to choose the Everyday Iron on Light. Hit Done. And then for the material that you're going to put it on, there's so much more now. So look at this. I mean, there's just everything is on here. They even have the stuff, once again, for the infusible ink. We're going to choose 100% cotton and hit done. So now we're going to choose the Easy Press Max, or you can choose towel, and we're going to hit apply. And now look at this. It shows um, in more detail what you need to do. So it says 315 for 30 seconds. You can change it from Fahrenheit to Celsius just by clicking the button. We're going to use Fahrenheit. And then on this next image here, now what it's also going to tell you light pressure and keep uh, warm peel right away at the top. Then on the next picture, it's going to show you how to layer it. It's going to tell you what supplies you need, preparation, how to prepare your item, the application. It's going to tell you how to apply it, the heat, um, all of that information, and then it's going to tell you the care. So allow it to um, sit for 24 hours before you wash it. I highly recommend that you do that. That really does help. It tells you do not bleach, etc. So um, that's how you use the new guide. I'm really excited about it. So we're going to go ahead and set our machine at 315 for 30 seconds. Okay, so now I know about where I want my image to be. I'm going to remove everything and go ahead and preheat my shirt for five seconds. I'm going to use my 3 by 18 ruler, get that even on there. Then I can go by the center, which is the 9 inch mark. I can come down and work my way from left to right, and that's going to be perfectly centered. I absolutely love this ruler for this. All right, then I'm going to pull off all the other layers and start going. So I'm going to do about half the time just to get this temporary tack down, and I'll just keep going, adding layer by layer. Now I'm going to use a Teflon sheet in between just to protect my other pieces of iron-on and just keep going. Now that we have all of our other iron-on, we're going to switch to glitter. So I just come back into the settings. I'm going to choose glitter. It gives us 330 for 30 seconds. I'm going to adjust my easy press and start layering on my glitter. Now I'm going to flip the shirt over and I'm going to go ahead and do an extra 15 seconds. That's going to ensure that it lasts. And there you have it. Super cute.